Namaste everyone, Rohit here from Indie One Up, and today we are going to optimize the Hogwarts Legacy game in a manner which finds the perfect balance of FPS and image quality. Now the issue is, we all have different kind of PC hardware. For example, I am running a CPU which is decade old, a second generation i7 which isn't even recommended for minimum specs. So I am CPU bound most of the time, and my RAM is 16 gigabytes. Now if you have 32 gigabytes of RAM and a CPU which is powerful than mine, you would be having a different kind of settings, right? I have a 3070 Ti graphic card which has 8 GB of VRAM and this particular game has more VRAM dependency than the GPU power itself. So I am going to tell you what best settings that you are going to apply to get similar results or even better than what I am going to show you here. Let's get into the game. The first thing that we are going to notice is display options, right? And you will find that exclusive windows full screen is missing. So you need to use the windowed full screen mode. You should not be selecting the rendering resolution. Rather than that, choose the upscale type, right? That will disable choosing the rendering resolution. And you can use these three technologies above mentioned. If you have an NVIDIA card, use NVIDIA DLSS. If you have AMD card, choose from AMD FSR or Intel XCSS. Do not use AMD FSR 1 or NVIDIA NIS. Both are inferior in the image quality comparison. I am going to use NVIDIA DLSS performance. Let's have a look at the FPS back again. And the FPS are now, well, better than before. This is the best gain we can get from changing by just one setting. This will give you most performance in the GPU bound scenario. If you are not GPU bound, but CPU or VRAM bound, then this setting is not going to help you much. You can choose the NVIDIA DLSS quality in that case. Now let's check this NVIDIA low latency mode. I was not able to show you the graph which tells you the average latency reduction this thing does. So I have two photos that I have clicked since it, wa it wasn't showing in the recording. If you keep this particular technology off, then you will have an average PC latency of 90.5 milliseconds. Here you can see in the performance overlay, right? 90.5 milliseconds. And once you apply on plus boost, for my case, on wasn't giving any kind of better performance. So I tried on plus boost and it reduced the average PC latency by 35 milliseconds. So we are down from 90 to about 55. It's one of the major and most important settings to reduce your latency. Okay, so you need to keep it at on plus boost. Or you can check yourself by using ultra plus R that will bring up the performance overlay if you have the NVIDIA XP GeForce experience installed and toggle on and off those settings. See what works best for you. Okay. Other settings include VSync, you should keep it off as it increases the latency that we just reduced via uh, this NVIDIA Reflex. Uh, one more thing that if you don't have NVIDIA GPU, then use Radon Anti-Lag setting for the Hogwarts Legacy game from the settings menu of your graphic card. Then comes these four options. These are your personal preferences. These does not impact the performance that much. So you can keep it as you wish. Now comes the best part, the graphics options. Before we begin, I would like to tell you to turn off all the RTX options as you can enable them later if you have uh, a spare GPU power and CPU power and VRAM because they need each and everything. So during our testing, we are not gonna use any of these settings and turn everything else to ultra. Yes, that might sound funny, but turn all the settings to ultra and return to the game. Now have a note of what FPS numbers you are getting. Wait for a little while, like for five to 10 seconds and then watch your FPS number. Now go again into the settings menu and turn all the graphics options to their lowest. Now again check the game FPS and see what is the maximum amount of FPS you are getting now. 
again wait for 5 to 10 seconds and compare these fps right these are the maximum and minimum fps that you can acquire and we would like to achieve that max number you just saw with this lowest setting and we will try to implement each and every setting close to ultra option so that we get best of the both worlds correct now have a look at all these settings each and every setting tell you which particular performance parameter it is going to affect it is cpu your gpu and vram now first you need to tell yourself which is the weakest component of your computer is that ram is that your graphic card or is that your cpu for example in my case i am running a second generation i7 processor which is about 11 years old so it is the weakest component i have currently i have 16 gb of ram and i have a 3070 ti graphic card which is according to the game requirement feasible enough to run game at 60 fps right so i am going to certainly lower the those settings that are going to impact cpu most similarly if you are running a 1060 uh, gtx graphic card or a radon rx 580 graphic card or 970 gtx graphic card then these graphic cards are also uh, weak in compared to mine graphic cards so you need to notch down those settings that affect gpu in performance right so mindfully reduce those settings accordingly and you will gain the best of the fps and best of the image quality in my case i found out that if i just reduce the shadow quality to medium or high and if i reduce the texture quality to high then i am going to get nearly similar fps which is my max which is 55 fps i just got redu reduced to 52 fps and everything else i can keep at ultra would you believe it even if i select the lowest of all the settings i am not able to gain any kind of fps the reason being games bad optimization you can say and we are testing in the hogwarts mead hogsmeade sorry so depending on sections of game your optimization is going to change but if you are not gpu bound like in my case i am not hitting G gpu at 99 percent so i can set all the settings to ultra if you are getting bound in most of the scenarios where you are hitting 99 percent on your gpu then you need you need to consider to reduce some of the settings that you believe are not changing that much of your uh, what should, what we should say graphically the scene isn't getting that much of change right that you should be changing what i did in my testing was i switched on and off on and off on and off each time the settings and watched the uh, the fps carefully you can do the same even if i tell you some certain setting believe me it's not going to work and that's why i am not going to waste your time in doing in showing you a best setting here is my setting you are free to apply that if that pleases you but i will really tell you if you are able to watch this lengthy video of mine then please go ahead switch on and off few settings and watch what works for you i told you the method that we all implement and you should do the same that's it for this video guys please like and subscribe to the channel thank you once again